Bethesda have recently posted on their blog, detailing various patches and general fixes including the ability to adjust FOV, but they have also highlighted upcoming features and plans that are coming, including city maps. What's up guys, you're here with Jodok Supreme and today we are going over the Starfield update post and looking into features we can expect to see coming to the game. As expected, Bethesda have stated they will be updating and working on this game for years to come, which is to be expected for a game of this size. Firstly, their main priority is dealing with bugs and technical issues. And to be honest, Starfield is probably the least buggy game Bethesda have released in quite some time. So I think they are doing quite good in this area already. This recent update currently focused on bringing FOV adjustment, stability and improved performance and general fixes. But in one of their previous posts, they touched on a number of features they plan to bring next to the game. These include setting adjustments such as brightness and contrast controls, and an HDR calibration menu. These settings were at the top of the list for quality of life, so expect these to come to Starfield before the year is over. Other upcoming support is also expected, such as ultra-wide monitor support for PC, and Nvidia DLSS. Starfield did not come out of the box with this support, but it seems likely that this feature will come to the game before the end of the year. And a game-changing feature, the eat button for food. It doesn't sound like much, but the amount of times I have come across food in Starfield and then chucked it in my inventory, only to just forget about it. Having an eat button would stop me from having an endless supply of sandwiches and also gets rid of that menu jumping just to eat the item you already picked up. Because I think we're in the menus a bit too much already. Bethesda have also said they are working closely with Nvidia, AMD and Intel on driver support, stability and performance. Bethesda have said they plan to bring full built-in mod support with their creation engine to both Xbox and PC, similar to Skyrim and Fallout 4. This mod support is expected to launch early next year. The PC community is already hard at work modding the game, and Bethesda look to support this officially and bring this to the Xbox players. And one last feature that is touched on in this update is the addition of city maps. Bethesda did not include this in their list of requested features, but did say they would get to this feature at some point in the future. Going off that, I would say city maps may not be until early next year, considering they are focusing on the previous features mentioned before. They haven't mentioned anything about inventory limits and menu navigation, so that is probably going to be looked at in the new year, as I know that is a main complaint with the game. Now just to summarise, here are the upcoming features expected before the end of the year. We have brightness and contrast controls, HDR calibration menu, Nvidia DLSS support, ultra wide monitor support and an eat button for food, and expected early next year, full mod support and city maps. Starfield has had a great launch and Bethesda will be supporting this for years to come. What is your most requested feature? Are you happy with what's been said so far about upcoming updates? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like if this video helped you out and consider subscribing for more Starfield updates. And be sure to let me know if you want me to cover anything else about Starfield. Thanks guys, you've been watching Jadak Supreme.